Okay, guys, good evening, good morning, wherever you may be around the globe. Uh, this is Dwayne. Uh, honestly, I'm not trying to win a Grammy or an Emmy or whatever it is they give for tutorial videos. In fact, I'm not even sure what I'm going to show you and exactly what I'm going to do, but let me just say up front, this has to do with Twitter, okay, and tweets. Uh, somehow or another, I got into the habit of sending out tweets a couple years ago. I would sit and I would look at the charts and I would see these incredible setups. It was like, oh my gosh, you know, how how can I see this and not share it? And so I started to tweet it out and then it took on a life of itself. And anyway, um, so, but then uh, we ran into a situation where uh, the CFR and partners wanted me to email them the tweets and I think that probably came from me at some point saying I would so I'm not blaming them I, I take responsibility um, and so we've tried we, we figured out how to get the tweet sent to your cell phone via text but some people wanted it sent via email okay now there is another solution that allows you to get the tweets and that's by installing the CFRN toolbar and so I really encourage you to do that and it's really easy you just go right here to download our toolbar click that install it's free installs and activates in seconds uh, it'll work on Chrome Firefox Explore uh, your virus your antivirus will warn you hey this could harm your computer you sure you know what you're doing uh, you have my word and the word of Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Uh, this toolbar that you see is a, it's a joint effort between CFRN and Amazon. We both promise you there's no uh, badware, malware, spamware, not even any adware. Uh, there's just goodware, you know, enrich your lifeware, stuff that will help you. And one of the things that will help you is that you'll always have the tweets just right here just a click away but you gotta be at your computer in order to see it show up in your browser window on this toolbar so some folks they said hey I really need to get the email I need an email and so then I, I do remember saying in a partners meeting look I'm gonna really try hard to send the emails but you know what in the middle of the day when my phone's ringing my phone's going off I got people in the chat room I'm trying to do a radio show I see a setup I send out a tweet then to go over to an entirely different platform, get logged in, bring up the template, you know, and spell everything correct. Uh, I have just failed horribly. Well, no, actually I failed excellently. <laughs> you know what I mean. I didn't do a good job of that. So we've been trying to figure out a way that you could get the tweets via email. We found a way but the initial instructions I gave you were faulty and I'll tell you why in a second first for those that don't know about the tweets I'm gonna try to be as brief as I can and you know that's <laughs> not easy for me uh, but I'm gonna try alright for somebody stumbling along that might be brand new you know what are the tweets and and why are they important and why would I even want them okay well today is it's Saturday morning, March 30th, 12.06 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, I'm not up early. I'm up late. No, just still working uh, on a Friday night. Good Friday, by the way. And uh, this is the week we just finished. And I'm just going to show you the tweets from the week we finished. What is a tweet? When I Well, we all know what a tweet is, hopefully. And if you don't, go to twitter.com and... You know, you can get educated on what Twitter is if you've never used it. And I'll show you in a minute how to follow us on Twitter, okay? But when I send out a tweet, it's simply an idea. It's, it's that really and nothing more. I'm looking at the charts and whatever market I happen to be looking at, I see something and I go, wow, that's an opportunity. So I'm just simply sharing that opportunity, that trade idea with you, okay? Now, sometimes I will give you a trade to target, but usually I don't because I believe that the partners who have access to the weekly trading zones, okay, 
I, you know, I'm trying to be preferential to them because I think that's fair and right to a degree. All right. So they know where the next logical place is for, in this case here, resistance, or in the case of this tweet that I sent out, support. Okay. The weekly trading zones go to partners every Monday morning before the market opens. And then they, they're cast in stone. They stay the same for the entire week. They don't change. All right. Fixed support and resistance. Different from dynamic support and resistance, which we also offer through one of our proprietary indicators. Okay. So a tweet. What is it? Well, I sent out a week ago Friday. I sent out a tweet that says if the market goes down below 1547, consider being short the market. Well, if you followed that advice, here's what happened. If once the market got below 47 or it got to 47, if you chose to get short, the market traded down to a low of 1539. That's eight points total. But with the support right here, you'd have probably wanted to cover yourself at 1541. So from 47 to 41, that's six points. But look what happened. It went from 47 to 41. Then it went back to 47. Then it went back to 41. And then it went back to 47. And then it went almost all the way back to 41 again. Is that unusual? Not really. We believe that important prices are almost always tested. Important prices, important areas. If I ever give you a number in a tweet, I believe that area, that number, to be an important area or price. Okay? All right. So, this made four round trips, six points each swing. So, 24 down, up, down, up. 24 points. See that? Down, up, down, back up. So, in the span of one, two, three, four, five hours, had you traded this tweet and had the zones in mind as resistance and support, you could have potentially taken 24 points out of the market. Okay? Do I expect you to do that? Not really. Again, a tweet is an idea. All right? But as you can see, they typically will lead to an opportunity for some profits. So let's move on. The next tweet came out. That was on. That tweet came out on Friday. It didn't get triggered until Monday. The next tweet went out to be long above 1552. The first push up was good for four and a quarter points. It then pulled back to test that important price, that important area. And on the second push, it made it all the way to the zone. And it was good for six points. So in the course of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hours, we had two trades, one good for four and a quarter, one good for six. Now you're saying, well, how did I know to get out of four and a quarter? Maybe you didn't. And maybe you didn't. Okay. Maybe you just took a couple points. That's a day's pay over here. You didn't get, maybe you didn't get 24 points. Maybe you got two. Because that's what we teach you if you become a partner. Get a couple points a day and go live your life. There was an opportunity for 24, but maybe you got two. Nothing wrong with that. Don't scold yourself. Over here, maybe you didn't get the four and a quarter on the first push and the six on the second push. Maybe you just took a couple points. A couple points, a couple points. The market moved zone to zone to zone again. So along with the tweets, you had 10 and 10 in the zone to zone moves. I don't want to stray too far from the tweets because that's the subject of this supposed tutorial. The next tweet that I sent out said, consider being short below 1556. If you did that, price went back down to where? The zone where we found support. Okay. And that tweet was good for eight points. If you shorted 56 or you got short below 56, you had the market made eight points available. And that's an important point. I don't make the points available. CFRN doesn't make the points available. The market makes the points available. All we do is point it out. Hey, we think the market's about to make some points available. If you want to participate and 
take you know take action here this is this is the area all right okay now price bounce from zone back up to the zone 10 points over one two three four five six hours 10 points now I want you to stop for a minute and think about that I said I'd keep it to the tweets but well you know me if you caught this move all right back up another step we teach our partners to go for two points a day and go live your life ministry whatever it is that God's called you to do because it's the, it's not just about money it's not just about trading the markets um, having money and no life is a hollow victory um, I, I won't preach but I'll just say um, a lot of money and no life is a hollow victory okay all right this one move was good for 10 points I mean this move was good for 10 and the move back down was good for 10 and the move back up was good for 10 that's 30 forget the tweets just zone to zone all right but the point I want to make is if you caught this move just this one move on Tuesday from zone to zone that's 10 points that's your whole week you know you hear about the four-day work week how about a one-day work week how about a one two three four five how about a six-hour work week ten points is ten points whether you get it in one trade or one day or one week whether you get it in one trade or a hundred trades it's ten points I'm just pointing this out on the way back down uh, we didn't get all the way to the zone the zone was up here at 58 and it got down to a swing low of what did it get to mm, 49.75 okay. that'll happen I mean this thing's banging from zone to zone to zone to zone the bull stepped in before it could get back to support early buying because they wanted to participate in the rally so boom they ran it up well the tweet to be short at 54.75 that was good for five points but the whole move was worth even more and so this brings us up through I think uh, Thursday let's see let me back up this little skinny day here that's Sunday Globex Sunday night so here's Monday the 25th Tuesday the 26th Wednesday the 27th Thursday the 28th oh that's right and the market was closed today for Good Friday okay so that's that's why I didn't look right for a moment uh, we had a final tweet I didn't tweet this I don't always and, and that's the thing you know if you start following the tweets become a partner uh, don't sit around and wait for the tweet because I might sometimes I go for days without a tweet because I'm busy because I'm not in the mood uh, or maybe I'm just not seeing anything in the market that I feel is tweet worthy other times it's like a machine gun rapid fire boom 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 and multiple markets why well because I'm in the mood uh, because I have the time or because I spot the opportunities so it is what it is by the way it's free <laughs> uh, the, at this you know at the moment what we're talking about is something that's free so I don't know that's you get what you pay for all right now what you paid for was a tweet that went seven points and then a tweet that went uh, you know what let's forget the double push it went six points forget it that it was ten and a quarter yeah it called it six you know that's better this tweet was good for eight uh, this tweet was good for five and then the final tweet of the week was good for three and a half points I saw uh, this was at, going into the close Thursday afternoon before Good Friday I said consider being long about 1561 I also said uh, we're going to be taking out the all-time high in the cash S&P 500 market looks like we're going to close above it uh, don't be greedy or something to that effect I'll show you the tweet here in a minute and I said just you know get your points get your points and get out might we miss a pop 
might this become a runaway market to the upside? Yeah, maybe. Okay, But do I want to run that risk over a holiday weekend with all that's going on in Cyprus and around the world? No. No, I just said, hey, on a Thursday afternoon before Good Friday, we had a rock-solid opportunity to get two points twice. Okay, I said it went three and a half. It did. But then it came back to 61 and ran up to 64. So the first push was good for three and a half. And if we want to split hairs, we can say the second push was good for three. All right? That's six and a half points. And what did it do? What it almost always does is it comes back. Okay, we broke the area. Boom. You get in on a stop, however you're getting in. Consider being long above 1561. Go read the tweet. Now, that's the thing about the tweets going back a few years. It's a matter of historical record. It's not about me trying to promote something that may or may not have, you know, transpired. Go look at the tweets and go look at the historical charts. And, and I'm not trying to brag about it either. I'm just, I just want you to know that it's a, because there's so much smoke and mirrors in the market. You're like, oh my God, how do I know if I can even believe this guy? Well, you don't, quite frankly. If you don't know me, if you haven't hung out with me, if you haven't listened to us broadcast live for the last eight years, <laughs> you can't, I mean, you should be skeptical, all right? So go look at the charts, go look at the tweets for the last two years. It's a public historical timeline, and maybe you'll see value, maybe you won't. If you don't, that's okay. I mean, I'm just saying, you don't have to trust me. You can go look at the facts. All right, so uh, with that said, there was two pushes here, good for seven points, six and a half. We said that, you know, two points a day. Now, this is a four-day week, Monday through Thursday, so that's eight points. Uh, maybe I need to stop for a minute because somebody might be listening to this video that goes, well, you know, I'm not even sure what a point is. What is that? Well, in the S&P 500, when price goes from 1559 to 1560, that's one point. What's one point worth? It's worth 50 bucks. Now, it goes from 59 to 60 in increments, four increments. Those are called ticks. Each tick is worth $12.50. So by the time it goes four ticks from 59, it's now at 60. Okay, It's gone one point. If you're trading one contract, you've made 50 bucks or lost 50 bucks if you're on the wrong side of the trade. Okay. So one point is $50 in the S&P 500. All the other markets have their uh, tick values and point values and equivalents. And when you hear us talk about getting two points a day, we're talking about earning. We're using the S&P 500 E-mini as our benchmark. What we're talking about is making 100 bucks a day per contract. Okay. Well, what does it cost to trade a contract? It depends on the market. In the S&P 500, it costs... $500 in margin to trade one contract. Does that mean you're risking $500? No, it doesn't. It means you just got to put up $500 as collateral in order to take the trade. We never risk more than eight ticks in the live trading room. Well, how much is eight ticks? That's two points. That's $100. Okay. Now, as you become uh, profitable in the simulator, okay, you'll eventually start to trade live. As you begin to trade live, we're going to encourage you, uh, we're going to insist that you trade only with one contract. After you've made a thousand bucks trading that one contract, then you've earned the right to go to two contracts. Make another thousand, maybe two thousand, then go to three. Once you're up to, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten contracts, well, then two points becomes six, seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars. That, my friend, is a pretty good daily income. I don't care what part of the globe you live on, in, around. Okay. So, anyway, this is about tweets, is it not? It is. So these are the tweets that went out for the week. So if you understand the potential value in these tweets, you can understand why some people are a little concerned about. Hey, man, I can't always be following the Twitter. You know, can I get it in an email? All right. So I've worked diligently to figure out a way, and I sent out instructions earlier today to all the partners 
but I got the instructions wrong. And I'm going to share the instructions with the rest of the world, but at least the rest of the world will get it right. Sorry uh, to the partners that you were the the crash test, whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is Twitter, by the way. If you want to follow us, you're not already a follower, go to twitter.com forward slash CFRN. Okay? And then, you, see, I can't do this because I'm, if you're, if you're not already a follower, it's going to say, do you want to follow this guy? And so you're going to click a green follow button. Let me go to somebody that I don't follow. Who don't I follow? I don't think I follow these people. Oh, see how it says right there, I could follow them? Okay. I don't want to follow them, uh, but I could. And that's what will happen when you go to our page, twitter.com forward slash CFRN. Not only will you be able to see all of our historical tweets going back to, I think, 2008 was our first tweet. I believe so. Before anybody knew what Twitter even was. I didn't even know what it was. So I was trying to figure it out. But anyway, get signed up. Follow us and then, you know, go to your settings and figure out how to follow us and get it sent to your smartphone. If you want it sent to your email, I found this third-party app called Twilert, T-W-I-L-E-R-T dot com. All right. Go there. Sign in with your Twitter account or your Google account if you want. Um... I felt more comfortable signing in with my Twitter account. Sign in. There's a watch how-to video, and I bet they do a lot better job of telling you how to do this than I do, so you should probably watch that video. And it's redirecting me. Okay. Now, see, earlier today, I told the partners, I said, hey, go use this Twilert thing. If you want the tweet sent to your email, now, there's so many ways to get the tweets. You can get them sent as a text message to your smartphone. That's a piece of cake. Twitter will do that for you. I don't know why Twitter doesn't have an app to just send it to your email. It's crazy, but they don't. Maybe they will someday. But anyway, uh, I told the partners, I said, look, go sign up for the Twilert and then just put as your search at CFRN. Turns out <laughs> that was not good advice because... When I send out a tweet, I don't put at CFRN in my tweet. That would be ridiculous because I am at CFRN, and it would just like it would confuse the it would confuse the tweeter, okay, or the Twitter. So we're going to change that, partner. If you're watching this, I need you to, and you've already done this. We got to stop those emails for that. Come over here to where it says Twilerts. Turn that thing off. Okay. Now you know, in fact, just delete it. Make it go away. You sure you want to delete this Twilert? Yes. All right. Here's what I'm going to do going forward. When I send out a... Now, if I send out a tweet like I did tonight that shows my son eating his salad for dinner or some other just... I'm Maybe I'm retweeting something. I'm sharing some news. I'm sending out a scripture or a word of encouragement. That will be just part of the regular CFRN stream. Now, if I'm going to send out a trade tweet, okay? In other words, if I'm sending out one of these guys, consider being short below 15, 54, 75. I'm going to include this in my tweet. That's called a hashtag, for those of you that aren't familiar with Twitter. Uh, when we were kids and it was on our telephone, it was called the pound sign, but now it's a hashtag. If I send out a trade tweet, I'm going to put in there hashtag CFRN, except I'm not going to do caps. Or does this thing make everything caps? No. Okay. <laughs> this is my first tutorial video. CFRN underscore 
trade. So when you go to set up your Twilert, this is what you need to do. What I just did. Go to Twilert, sign in with your Twitter account. Under search, put pound CFRN underscore trade. How often do you want this app to check the stream to see if I've made a tweet trade and send you an email? Okay. Now, if I haven't made a tweet, see, that's another thing is when I had, had it done the other way, it could have been sending you crazy emails all the time because people are retweeting what I've tweeted. It's a long explanation, but I'm just trying to make it user-friendly for everybody. So you could put every 10 minutes. Typically, if I put out a tweet, you've got a window of anywhere from 10 minutes to 10 hours before you have to take action. It just depends on market conditions. Rarely, rarely, rarely will it be like an imminent thing. Okay. But if you want it, if you want to tell it one minute, everyone, you can. Okay, because it, it won't cost you anything. This is not, all. This is all free. This technology here with the Twitter and the Twilert, it doesn't cost you any money. So if you wanted to check every minute, you can. I think ten, even ten's a lot. But go ahead. You know, you see every ten minutes, create Twilert. Your Twilert has been created successfully. Okay. All right. So now, every time I send out a tweet that has hashtag CFRN underscore trade in it, if you've signed up, just like I did right there, you're going to get an email. You will get an email with that tweet. Let's, let's watch it in action. Okay, let's go over here to my Twitter feed. And I'm going to write a tweet. Oh, test tweet two, because I did one earlier. Four. Okay, let's say that I was saying consider being long above 1566. I'm not saying that. Let's just say I was. Let's say I was saying consider being long above 1566. I'm going to end the tweet with pound CFRN underscore trade. And I'm going to go tweet. Now, in 10 minutes, within the next 10 minutes, this little application here, it's going to go out, it's going to check the CFRN feed. And when it spots that tweet that I just made, it's going to send an email to my inbox. I don't have to do anything else. This will just run forever. As long as Twitter and Twilert are in existence, it'll just do it. Every 10 minutes, from now to eternity, Twilert will go out. It will check for this hashtag across all of Twitter. Okay. Now... Here's the deal. If you start retweeting my trades, it's going to pop up in the feed. So, uh, not that you would. I'm just saying. You'll be busted. So, and, and I'm putting them out there for everybody anyway. But sometimes people want to take credit for other people's work. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> you got to live with your own conscience. I don't. I, I'm just saying. That's how you do it. It's that easy. I took... What, how long did I... I took 29 minutes to tell you. That's how you fix the mistake in Twilert. Instead of at CFRN, pound CFRN underscore trade. Until I decide to change it to something else. Okay? Now, you only get 140 characters with Twitter. So, I ate up a lot of characters with that. But, it's the only way I could figure to make sure you didn't get tweets that weren't actual trades all right so until we now there's another way you can follow me you can go to my feed at seeking alpha okay where i write some articles i used to write a lot but i haven't i haven't lately um 
here, this removes the noise. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you go to our Twitter feed, it's everything I tweet. Like I sent Bruce a message tonight with a video of my son eating his dinner, which I'm sure you don't want to watch right now. Oh, snap. Nice. <laughs> Let's just forget that part of this. <laughs> All right. Oh, but we got to reload the Twitter. Okay. You can go to Seeking Alpha, follow me, Dwayne Reeves. And when you go to my feed on Seeking Alpha, not my blog, not my column, but my feed. I know it's all very confusing, but I I'm trying to demystify it. All see on Seeking Alpha, you won't see you, I'm I'm not allowed to put out things about, you know, my son's salad, okay? I can only put out what's going on in the market. So by scanning through here, it filters out everything that is not an actual trade idea. These are either trade ideas or like a management thing. Uh, if still short from the previous tweet, consider taking some or all profits on remaining position. Six and three quarter points available so far. If not already short from the previous tweet, consider being short below 1541. Last tweet, hit target of 1536.50 given on the radio, up four and a half points. There may be a chance for a second bite of the apple. There was. Prices now return to the weekly zone. The second bite appears to be setting up right now. Pull up an hourly chart. Second bite of the apple from previous tweet, short below 1541, has delivered two and a half points so far. First bite was four and a half. See how I'm walking you through it? Second bite equals three and a half points of potential. If no longer short, consider being short below 36 if the opportunity presents. Okay? And so on and so on and so on. That's just another way that you can follow the stream. If you want. Okay? So that's Twitter. That's Twilert. That's our feed on Seeking Alpha. Now I'm going to check my email and see if it's gone out and found that alert yet. It's only been a few minutes. Oh, also, the first time that you get a, uh, a reply from Twilert, it will probably go to your spam uh, folder. So what you need to do is you need to check your spam folder and find the thing from Twilert. And when you find it, make that address one of your contacts so that the tweets go straight to your inbox. Any of the emails you get from CFRN, we have a couple different email addresses. There's like dreaves at cfrn.net. There's support at cfrn.net. And there's a couple others we use for specific things. Add those. As you see an email come in, make sure that the from address is added to your contact list. Then everything we send you will go straight to your inbox. You don't ever have to go looking for it in your promotions folder or your bulk folder or your spam folder or any of that other nonsense. Okay, go straight to your inbox. Yeah, it hasn't been 10 minutes yet, so it hasn't shown up. But it will because it's a computer and that's just how those things work. So uh, join the party. Come hang out with us. If you have any questions, support at cfrn.net. I'm going to be sending an email to the partners explaining this. I just wanted to get this out there for the rest of you who are trying to follow. Um, we've said in the past that we would have to at some point suspend the tweets and reserve those just for the partners. And we may still have to do that. I don't really want to, I like being able to share it, but I mean, partners don't pay for the tweets. I mean, that's not part of the partner package. Um, actually, becoming a partner teaches you how to find your own tweets. Now, which boat would you rather be in? Would you rather be the guy who is waiting for me to send out a tweet, or would you rather be the guy 
who can just go look at the chart and find his own tweet. That's my goal for every CFRN partner is not that they, you know, be dependent on me for the rest of their days to, to give them a tweet, but that they be able to look at this chart and go, oh, okay, a price sold off pretty heavy here. I can see this. If, if price gets back above this area here, I want to be long. And then price starts to sell off and you're going to say, wow, gets back below this area here. I need to be getting short. I mean, that's, that's what I want for you. Okay, if you're coming to CFRN, I believe it's because you're a believer. It's the Christian Financial Radio Network. I know that not everybody that comes through our doors is a professing believer. But I'll tell you what, with all the places there are to go on the internet to learn about trading and to get trade advice and tips and indicators and whatnot, if you came to the Christian Financial Radio Network, there's a reason. And I'm going to tell you what the reason is, whether you believe it or not, or even like it or not, it's because you're looking for God. You might not even believe He exists, but you're still looking for Him. And that should tell you something right there. The guy down the street from me right now, sitting in the bar, with the scotch and water in front of him, he thinks he went there for a drink, he thinks he went there for a good time, he thinks he went there for conversation. I'm going to tell you why he went there. He went there because he's looking for God. We're all looking for God, even those of us that are professing believers, okay? <laughs> we're still looking for God, and we're going to be looking for Him until the day we see Him. And I'm going to tell you where you're going to see Him. You're going to see Him in the eyes of, but long before you die and go to heaven and see Him there, you're going to see Him in the eyes of an orphan. You're going to see God in the eyes of a widow. You're going to see God in the eyes of the less fortunate. The ones that you reach out to help because you've learned how to trade and you're now in a position to do everything you ever dreamed of doing. All that stuff God put on your heart years ago. That ministry that you always wanted to launch, but you found out after you got started, ministry costs money. And you thought when you dedicated your life to the ministry that people were just going to fall out of their houses giving you money so that you could do stuff. And then you found out they didn't. And that's, man, that's, that's tough. Been there, done that. I, I understand it, okay? It seems like if you're willing to give up everything to go and follow Christ and to do His work, to go on the mission field, to serve the needy and the less fortunate, it seems like that people should just put money in your hand so you can go, and to a degree, people will. And as you become successful in the mission field, more people will look at that and they'll go, hey, you know, and, and you'll find that money isn't all, it's not always that easy to come by. But in the beginning, especially when you're starting, so many missionaries have to be self-supporting. I know missionaries who go to the mission field for three months out of the year and then they come back to America and they work for nine months so that they can afford to go back and serve in the mission field for three months. Some are able to do it six and six. Come here, work their butt off for six months, you know, 10, 12, 16 hours a day so that they can go and give and serve and love on the mission field for six months out of the year. That's their life and they're happy, man. Would they prefer to be there 12 months out of the year? They would. You ask, well, well, then why don't they learn how to trade and do that? Yeah. The, for one of the first things I'll ever tell you when you come through our doors is trading's not for everybody. It just, it's not a perfect fit for everyone. And the only way you're going to find out if it's a fit for you is to take the free, you got to go the long way around the mountain. There, I, there's no little test I can give you that's like, ding, ding, oh yeah, you're, you're cut out for this. You got to take the free trial. You got to see if you can get through that. You got to learn a little bit about the market. You got to learn the mechanical stuff, the simulator and the indicators. And we've really tried to make it as simple as possible. We've tried to reduce it to the simplest common denominator. We've tried, we've color coded the indicators. All we've done, Michael and I have done all that we know how to do to make it, to, to lessen the learning curve to the very best of our ability. But I, I'm just telling you, it's going to still, it's going to take you 
a minimum of a month to six months to find out if you even have a shot at making it as a trader. And that's the truth. And you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, doesn't this guy like sell a trading course and indicators? Shouldn't he be trying to convince us otherwise? Now, well, I just, you know, I have to tell you the truth. Do I want you to become a partner? Yeah. Do I want you to succeed? Yeah. But the truth is, it may not be in the cards for you. Your money for ministry and life and retirement and the kids' college fund, it might have to come from somewhere else other than trading. But I'm willing to go shoulder to shoulder with you to see if trading is in the cards for you. Take the free trial. That's five days with the indicator, with the platform. You can get in that simulator, put on, take off trades. And if, it, if there's a glimmer, if you, if you feel it, if you see it, and you go, man, you know what? I can learn how to do this. Quite frankly, the learning how to do it part, that's the easy part. It's the emotional stuff that comes along with it that's really tough, okay? But if after the five days you go, man, I am, I am rare, I'm, I just, I feel it in my bones, this is for me, I'm going to counsel you, but if you want to become a partner, we'll let you become a partner. You're going to spend 90 days in training, in the simulator, every day, putting on, taking off trades. We want you to stay in that simulator until you are consistently profitable. Once you're consistently profitable for 30 days at least, then you go into the live market and you only trade one contract. And on every trade that you put on, you only risk eight ticks, which is two points. The equivalent in any market is $100, okay? We, you, you have to have a minimum of 2000 to open your account. We prefer to see you open it with 3000 And I would really think in your best interest, five to 10000 gives you some breathing room. If you follow the plan the way we lay it out, by trading only one contract until you've made 1000 to $2,000, and then up and get to two contracts until you make another 1000 to $2,000, the reason we do it that way is to protect your initial seed capital that you have. Because if you blow up your account, as many traders do, where are you, how are you going to refund that thing? Okay, if you put five grand in there and go, man, this is a piece of cake. I can do this. I'm going to trade 10 contracts coming out of the gate. You know, and your money's gone, then what? Okay, so we're going to teach you aggressive risk management. We're going to teach you capital preservation. And you're going to think, I'm, you know, this is like some slow boat to, well, it's a slow boat to success is what it is. If success is in the cards for you, this is how you can get there. By taking it one day at a time, one trade at a time, two points at a time. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a hurry. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. This is a journey. This is the thing that could potentially sustain you all the days of your life. It could, it could fuel your ministry, your vision, the kids' college, whatever, if you get it right. If you rush it, if you push it, if you stress, it's not going to happen. Now, if it doesn't happen, the worst that happens is the money you spent for training, the time you invested in training, and whatever initial amount you put in your account. At the end of that, if it's not, you know, you can and say, hey, I took a shot. But that's not how we want to see it turn out for you, okay? If you'll listen, if you'll go slow, if you'll be patient, I, I believe that anyone, I believe anyone can learn how to be a trader if they will follow the instructions, watch the videos, take the training, take the criticism, and s learn to separate the emotions from the trading. That's really what it's going to come down to, okay? If, if you're an emotional type of person, and most of us in ministry are very emotional type people, if you cannot separate your emotions from your trading, you can't succeed. It has to be cold, calculated. It's business. It's not about being right or wrong. 
you know, there, there's just, there's so much I want to tell you, so much I want to convey to you, but I've already burned up 44 minutes in what was going to be a five minute video on how to fix the boo boo and Twilight. So, everybody that knows me, all the partners, they'll go, oh Lord, there he goes again. Um, well, <laughs> they're right, there I go again. So, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to encourage you, if you want to become a trader, you want to take the free trial, you want to do all, do it. Take the free trial. It really is free. There's no credit card. Come hang out with us. You know, glean as much as you can in five days, but do that. Make sure, absolute sure, that you download that platform and install the indicators because if you don't, at the end of five days, you're going to go, man, that was cool. That was awesome. I wish I had. Okay? Don't put yourself in those shoes. Just when you sign up for the free trial, and here's where you sign up. I mean, it's all over the website, but just the shortcut is cfrn.net apply. Right? Wow. Here. Apply. <laughs> all right. Name and email. No mystery question. No where your mother's maiden name. And no credit card. You're going to get an automated email response. You'll probably have to go to your bulk folder, your spam folder somewhere to find it. Click the confirmation link because we hate spam as much as you do. That's why it's a double opt-in confirmation. Okay. Do that. Once you confirm that you really do want to take the free trial, then what's going to happen is I am going to manually send you an email that gives you the link and the password and another link to go download the platform some videos to watch and some phone numbers if you need help and some email addresses if you need help and then we're going to spend five days together in the live trading room that's how it works and Michael and I are available during the entire five days to work with you counsel with you do private go to meetings with you have conference calls with you to help you figure out you know if this is going to be right for you last thing in the world we want you to do is become a partner if it's not right for you okay now, some people go, well, you know, gosh, five days, it's kind of hard to make a decision in five days. I got news for you. Most people don't give you five days. Most people don't give you two days. And nobody that I know of lets you use their indicators and platform for five days to make up your mind if you want to, you know, at least. See, this isn't about five days to decide if you're going to be a successful trader. It's about five days to decide if you want to try to learn how to become a successful trader. Okay? I'm just telling you, nobody else lets you use their indicators, their proprietary indicators, and their methodology for five days while you make up your mind if you want to become a student or not. But we do. Because we march to the beat of a different drummer. <laughs> we answer to a higher authority, if you will. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because you've chosen to come to the Christian Financial Radio Network to get your schooling to learn about the e-mini futures. We would love nothing more than for you to become a part of our community. We are a community of believers who trade for a living. And we'd love nothing more than for you to become a part of our happy family. But only if it's right for you. And you know what? If it turns out it's not right for you, then we stay friends. You still come and hang out with us on the radio show. Because... On the radio program, we talk about all kinds of things, from politics to world events to you name it. Technology, we love to talk about tech, latest in the Android and the iPhones and whatever's happening on the Internet and all that kind of stuff. Google Glass, yeah. We're, you, know, you might be listening to this so far down the road that you look back and go, Google Glass, <laughs> uh, he really is old. So anyway, cfrn.net forward slash apply. Uh, I'm Dwayne. You can email me anytime. Support at cfrn.net. During normal business hours, you can call our brokers, Bert and Leslie, toll free at 866 928 3310. It has been 49 minutes and 37 seconds since I set out to make a five minute video. So I'm going to end right here and right now. Thanks so much for sticking with me. God bless.